I've always been interested in being a physician from very early in my life. My grandmother Bloom had this picture on her bookshelf in her house as I was growing up. When I became a physician, she gave it to me, so I've always had it in my office. And Dr. Scopoletti came in and he said, well, you know, we, we have the original. And I said, Joe, no, this is a very famous painting. And he said, no, Fred, and he dragged me up to the, the administration area and showed me the, the portrait and told me the story behind it of, of how Guthrie came to have an original of this work of art. The sketch was produced in the run-up to the artist developing his ideas for a larger piece of work that was exhibited in London in 1891. And it was commissioned by Henry Tate. And Henry was interested in a piece of social realism. And I think that Luke Fields, the artist, decided on a very personal subject, which is what we see in the painting, a child dying and being looked after by a doctor who has little else to offer except for comfort and reassurance and his concern and his compassion in that situation. It's a very, very emotive piece of personal memory uh, depicted, I think, really beautifully. to Guthrie to do a preliminary examination of the painting to try and understand all the basics, how it's framed and what condition it's in, whether it needs any remedial or emergency conservation work. And we're in a hospital here so it's a good analogy to think of the painting as a patient. <laughs> Everything has to go very calmly and one step at a time whether it's in a gallery space in some part of the world or if it's like here at the Guthrie, the experience is quite different. It's like field hospital work. You have to try and gather together the right materials. You just have to think things through for yourself and work out what questions you might want to ask in future and ensure that you've got all the information you need. And what's been fun about this project for me is that I've had all the hospital staff here doing a scavenger hunt for everything that I need in situ. So they've been really kind and they've found me swab sticks so that I can do a little surface cleaning test. And they've gone off and got a UV lamp from the dermatology department so that I can try and understand how the varnish laser are applied and whether they're original or not, what material they are. I've worked with a radiologist here we put the painting on a gurney and we took it very slowly and carefully down the corridor to the X-radiology department and we've exposed the painting to X-ray and we're hoping to try and understand if the artist completed the sketch in one go or whether maybe Fields made some small adjustments and the other bit of information that I'll be able to get from that is to compare the canvas weave that this painting is painted on to the canvas weave of the exhibited sketch in London. The relationship between the sketch and the exhibited work is really interesting because in fact what we see in the sketch is that the whole scene is oriented in the opposite direction. The artist went to great lengths to create this painting. He had a studio in London and he recreated in his studio, like a stage set, the scene of the interior of a Devon farm cottage. And from that stage set, he worked out how he was going to do the final painting. We are giving a lot of attention to the computer. In many ways, it has taken away from that interaction or that idealized interaction. We all you know, sat around and said, this is something that's really special. Somehow it's been sort of, I don't know, forgotten is the right word, but it kind of has been forgotten. We want to uh, make sure it's restored and properly displayed. I think this is a, a great activity. Um, I like the history of the organization. I've spent my whole career here. The painting and the activities around the painting this year 
are reestablishing that human connection with the patients and maybe making it so that they can't ever be lost.